Teal going over the middle. Survey just outside of his uh, grasp there. It's a little bit overthrown. You know, it's such an important timing pattern, and I'm sure Survey, not running quite as quick on this icy field, threw off that timing just a little bit. Teal, Teal slipped too as he delivered the ball. Yep. So third down again from the 10. <laughs> <laughs> Wide receivers left and right, doubles. Haynes in the backfield. Haynes floating out. And, oh! Teal goes down on a slip on the ice. And that's going to bring up a fourth down and 17 from the 17-yard line. Wow, that was huge. You hate to see that happen to any quarterback, but that's the condition of the field right now. The temperatures drop. It's just turned into a skating rink out there. Forget about uh, skating tonight on Channel 6. We have it right here, unfortunately, for Greg Teal. You know, the center of the field, Murr, has a crest on it. And that is frozen before the rest of the field has. There you see the time left. This is the final play of the game. They were down to eight seconds. They're going to have to go into the end zone. Here it comes. He scored it's a touchdown. Jesse Haynes scored the touchdown. Holy cow. And look at that scene in the end zone. Northwest Missouri has won it. Time is gone. 22-21. Northwest Missouri has beaten UNO. The student body coming out onto the field. What disappointment for the Mavericks. What joy for the Bearcat fans. Here you see Cedric Welch. The Mavericks can't believe it. You know, they, there was probably two seconds left on the clock when he snapped that ball. And Jesse Haynes made the catch, and it's only fitting. What a great game he played.